everybody, this is Guru Francis Rana from Filipino Martial Arts School, and today is another episode of Bayani Talk. FMAschool.com Hi everybody, this is Guru Francis Rana from Filipino Martial Arts School and today's another episode of Bayani Talk and today I'd like to talk about two things. One, I'd like to talk to you all about the Feeling Ta'al fundraiser and two, I'd like to talk to you guys about um, something amazing that happened during this um, uh, event. So what's the Feeling Ta'al fundraiser? Well, the Feeling Ta'al fundraiser hosted by 413 Media Group was a fundraiser to help the people who was victimized by the recent volcano in the Philippines, uh, Taal Volcano. Uh, many of the Filipinos were disenfranchised, including some of my family members. So with the help of Self-Defense Fit Lab, as well as um, Guru Norm Alonzo of Inayan Escrima, San Diego, Chief Chashianco of Pulaha de Robio in San Diego, and Master uh, Sunny Napio of Visayan Legacy Escrima, along with Self-Defense Fit Lab for letting us use their place, um, we were able to host a fundraiser where we did a bunch of FMA workshops and everybody got to learn different style. All the while, 100% of the proceeds will be going towards uh, the relief fund in, in the Philippines. So, um, first of all, it was great. It was awesome to, to just learn from different perspectives, learn from different instructors. We had a little bit, I think we had over 20 people in attendance. Um, and it was just an amazing, amazing time, you know, from Guru Norm to uh, Chief Chaz and then to Master Sunny Napio teaching us from their different perspectives and their different styles of Filipino martial arts. And I will talk more about that in another video, but I just kind of want to give you guys a brief synopsis of what was happening. The, the even greater thing that happened about this was when, you know, this was a fully 100% um, donation-based event. So basically, and there was not even a minimum amount that you had to donate. If you can donate $10, we'll take your $10. If you can donate $20, hey, we'll take your $20. But if you can donate only a dollar, you're definitely welcome to join us as well. We will take it because, like I said, 100% of the proceeds will go to help the people in the Philippines. But what was so amazing was there's this 9-year-old little girl whose brother and father who are is a part of actually Filipino martial arts schools, a part of the school. But I had expected only the dad and the son was going to participate. Now, like I said, because the, um, the do it's a donation-based, you know, it didn't really how much it matter how much they donated. Um, I just assumed that it was just going to be my students, the father and son, that was going to participate. So when their when when their wife, when you know the mom or the the wife of my student uh, gave gave me the money, their daughter, who's not you know she's she's part of the family, but she's not a student. Um, said she wanted to give. And I'm like, wow, you don't have to because your mom already gave. No, she goes, I really want to give. And I'm like, you are amazing and I love you. And she didn't give much, okay? She's nine years old. She gave me a dollar and ten cents. And that just to me tells, it gives me hope for the future because there's young people who today are still learning the value of giving when, what you can even when to the point it hurts. I just remember the story of, of that one woman who gave more money uh, than anybody else. And Jesus was saying that she has given more than anybody else. This is what that little girl embodies to me for that in that moment. That this little girl just wanted to help and she helped as much as she can. Now, I'm, it's not about the amount, but it was about the amount of heart that went into that donation. And O'Reilly... <laughs> You are an amazing young young woman, and I am so proud to know you. And I just I'm just blown away by you and your, what your parents have taught you. And you know what? You're just a, a beautiful person from the inside out. So O'Reilly, this video is dedicated to you, uh, and I'm just proud of you. And I wish I could take credit for that, but I'm not. It's definitely this is definitely something that her parents have instilled in her. And I'm just and I want to honor that by by hopefully pushing that forward to not just my future children, but to my future students as well, especially the under, the under 18 ones. Anyway, do you believe that this, is, that this is something that we should be teaching our children to, to give 
more of their heart than the amount? Comment down below. And if you're looking for a school that fosters that, visit us at www.fmaschool.com and sign up today. Until then, my name is Guru Francis Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.